Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about the Dask web UI. So Dask has recently grown a, a web UI, which is a responsive bokeh web, web application, which gives you real-time feedback on what's happening inside the distributed scheduler. So we're running here a cluster of eight machines on EC2. You see at the top we have a couple of tables with just raw numbers. Uh, so we see the addresses of our workers, how many cores they have, uh, the amount of memory they have, you know, latency to back and forth, CPU memory usage, as well as disk and network usage. Uh, this is nice to see, and it's nice to diagnose things when they go wrong. Uh, we also see this plot down here showing average CPU memory use over time. It's becomes more interesting when we start doing things with our cluster. So uh, here we're going to load in some data from S3. And as we do so, well, we see here in this plot um, a state of all tasks scheduled knows about that we're working on. And here at the bottom we're seeing um, as tasks complete, as they come in, we're seeing where they were working and what they were working on. So this worker was, was loading some data from this, this read binary function, and afterwards it worked on parsing that uh, binary data to CSV file. And so you're seeing these things as they're coming in at sort of a 100 millisecond refresh rate. Uh, up here, we're seeing CPU load. We're seeing that, oh, it's good. We're getting you know full CPU usage and memory is increasing slowly over time. Uh, these plots are showing, uh, so the dark blue is how much is in memory, the light blue is how much we've completed, but isn't in memory any longer, because we've been able to release it. Uh, so here we see we've you know, read a lot of binary data, but we've released all that binary data. And now our CPU, our average CPU server cluster is, has decayed, so we're all finished. We can run you know, more computations, and as we do that, we'll dump more and more tasks into the scheduler, and we can see overall what's happening. Uh, everything has nice little hover plots, so you can see more detail. Um, uh, so this plot down here that shows all the tasks coming in is restricted to the most recent 1,000 tasks. So older tasks will be lost. It's just for recent history. But, you know, as always, those are all bokeh plots. You can zoom in on what data you have, and you can see very clearly what uh, what they were working on, how long they took. Um, if there's any data transfer, this data set, this competition doesn't require much data transfer. Here's some. It will be red. And so you can see white space, which is, you know, when we're not actively using our cluster much. So this computation was fairly sparse. Red, where we're doing lots of transfer, and then various other colors for other computations. Uh, this, there's a second view, which shows the last 20,000 tasks, which is a bit hard to render in real time. So we uh, only render it on refresh in this second route for, for tasks. And if we wait just a moment, it'll pop up. And so this shows us all the computations that we've done over history. We can go and you know really dive in and see see what's what. Uh, this will not update uh, real time. You'll actually have to have to hit refresh. So that's it. Uh, we've got tables at the top with sort of dry numeric information. We have a progress bar, uh, which shows the status of all computations across the cluster and where they are, and it's color coded based on what's in memory and completed and not completed. We have this general average CPU memory use across the cluster, and then a real time task. Uh, feed, which is very neat. Uh, so, as a reminder, so this is all a bokeh web app, a bokeh web application. Uh, it'll start up automatically if you install bokeh and if you start your scheduler. So this is the standard command to start a scheduler. Oh, I've already got one running. Yeah. So when you start up the scheduler, it gives you the address of your of your machine, as well as an address that hosts some JSON routes, and finally uh, the address that hosts the um, the web UI. So this is just a, a standard bokeh server application. Okay, great. Thank you all for your time.